Hi everyone, time to get into it. NBA action on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan courtside with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry. David Aldridge will join us momentarily from the sidelines. A moment now to look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it has been trending for James Harden. And looking at his offensive numbers from the past few years, it seems like teams around the league have kind of figured him out. Uh, he's having to work a lot harder for his points, and they haven't been coming nearly as easily as they used to. Now let's take a look at the starters for New Orleans. The front court full of star power with Ingram and Zion. In the backcourt, it's McCollum and Jones. And it's Valanciunas in at the five, roaming the paint. And for Los Angeles, George and Leonard are the forwards. Then it's Harden, then it's Plumley, and it's Mann in at the two. And around the midway point of the season, Brent teams by now hopefully have found their chemistry. Is that forged off the court or mostly, in your opinion, on the court? Well, it can be forged on the court, Kevin, and that can be a good thing. But if it's forged off the court, it can be a great thing. That kind of togetherness that can carry you a lot farther. Now, here's Valanciunas. Down to five on the shot clock. And the basket by McCollum. Well, McCollum has shown the ability to get inside and also finished. It's just how shifty he is. Here's Mann. Taking a look at his stance, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. Here's Leonard. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Such a critical part of how their offense is going to flow. Things are only working when he seems to be on the floor. This Pelican front office has done a great job, Brent, finding some diamonds in the rough, players that have now helped. Think about it, Kevin. They grabbed Jose Alvarado and Najee Marshall, both undrafted players, and those guys are key rotation pieces to change the tempo of any game. Herb Jones, a great steal in the second round, defensively comes in, creates havoc. I mean, a lot of really impressive finds for this front office. What a great body control there. George, tremendous athlete, takes the hit, and he makes that one count. And after being one of the worst teams, Brent, in the NBA for so long, the Clippers have really turned things around, haven't they? No doubt. I mean, a season ticket to the cellar for many, many seasons, but moving into this building, getting a little bit Find of juice, lane. getting some stars in here, they've become a competitive contender over the past few seasons, and it all has to do with the ownership and that shift has been fruitful for the Los Angeles Clippers. And George wants to compete for titles, especially considering that he's in the back half of his career. Just around a minute and a half into the first quarter. Williamson outside. Jones finds Valanciunas. New Orleans needs to get off a shot. And McCollum with the slam. And with the shot clock winding down, McCollum, just even temperament, steps up, knocks it in. Plumley sets the pick for Harden. From 13, the shot's good. And he's not going to miss many of those, especially that wide open. No, he's automatic from the mid-range, and the defense knows that. It's a mistake to give up a shot like that. Now here's McCollum. His scoring totals are something to take note of. He's averaging over 19 points a game. Man passes to Leonard. Harden sets the pick for Leonard. Gets rebounded by New Orleans. Well, that mid-range Jay usually pretty much on the money. Maybe the timing just a little bit off on that one. Alan Junis sets a screen for McCollum. And Valanciunas kicks to McCullum. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. Let's pause for just a moment to see the teams that have been extremely effective with their three-point shooting this past month. The Clippers, number one. In third, the Pelicans. And both of these teams are really lighting it up from long range, shooting with tremendous confidence. This is a great game to watch. You almost have to expect a shootout when they meet. Russell Westbrook's checked in for Paul George. New Orleans also making some changes. Hawkins comes in for Herbert Jones. And Daniels subbed in for McCollum. Ingram outside. 
The pass to Valanciunas. Lost contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And Valanciunas knows he's going to get hit there. He absorbs the contact and still goes through it. Pelican shooting their first free throw of the evening. And Los Angeles with some changes. Daniel Tice is checked in for Plumlee. Norman Powell comes in for Mann. And Bones Island subbed in for James Harden. New Orleans also making some changes. Trey Murphy's checked in for Zion Williamson. And McCollum subbed in for Dyson Daniel. Brandon Ingram, tiny dog, is what they called him when he first got into the NBA, Brent. And he has become a very loud bark. What a player. Yeah, Kevin, a lot of talk about him having to jump around in the shower to get wet. But he has put on the weight and become ferocious on the offensive end. This guy does not back down, and he's worked hard to fill out that frame. Now here's McCollum. Kawhi Leonard unable to get his shot to go. Pass to Valanciunas. Kicks it to Ingram. Back to Valanciunas. Can't cash in from close range. That's the only kind of defense that's going to cut the mustard here tonight. You got to stay on top of a guy like that who can play at such a high level offensively. Guys back and forth this first half. And this could continue to go back and forth the entire way. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Clippers ahead. They're up by one. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a moment. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen so far from the Clippers, guys. What are your thoughts? I really thought that everything seemed to fall into place for them in that first quarter. Well, they're playing aggressive, unselfish basketball, exactly what their coach wants. The Clippers in the lead. So with Harden on the bench, here's who Teron Lue's going with. Out on the wings for him, Powell and George. Daniel Tice out there with P.J. Tucker. And it's Westbrook in at the point. Here's McCollum. Paul George making his last shot. Over Westbrook and McCollum the bucket on the assist from Marshall. McCollum's got six points. And one of the unwritten rules of team play, Brent, don't throw your teammate a grenade. What are those? Well, I got a lot of those in my years in Seattle, and I won't mention his name, but the initials were Gary Payton. Look, the shot clock's winding down. You're standing open, and the guard just gives it to you with 1.5 seconds to go, and you got to shoot the ball. So those are called live grenades, Kevin. Hard for opposing teams to box out Nance because of all the activity that Larry Nance Jr. has. Plays alive on every possession. Now here's Powell. Still scoreless. Good. Well, they're trying to take command of this game, but it's been competitive so far. Yeah, everybody trying to get away from one another, and the threads are keeping them close. This has been highly competitive. Here's McCollum. Six points for him. Comes up empty down low. There's a little bit of pressure on him, but not enough to cause him to miss a shot that's in that close. But deep three from George. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. Well, I thought they played smart, and then all of a sudden it was maybe a little too flashy there, and that uh, that's unfortunate. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? Hey there, Kevin. Kawhi Leonard continuing to work his way back to peak form after his ACL tear during the 2021 playoffs. He said, I missed a whole year of basketball. I don't want to take anything for granted. I'm just trying to live in the moment and bring a sense of energy for the team. I'm still young, I'm a lot stronger, and I'm back. So, I'm happy. Kevin? Yeah, good to see, D.A. Hey, thank you. 
The first free throw is good. Well, Larry Nance Jr. came into the league and a lot of talk about his dunking prowess. But really Larry Nance Jr. knows how to play the game and is building on that potential. Catching up on the changes for the Clippers. Mason Plumlee's checked in for Daniel Tice. Leonard comes in for P.J. Tucker. Mann's checked in for Norman Powell. And it's Harden in for Russell Westbrook. And so he hits both. Here's Leonard. He has five. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter. Off target on the 15-footer. Shot didn't fall, but that play worked well to get a good look at the basket. Yeah, an efficient offensive possession. They found the look that they wanted, just didn't go in. Now here's Nance, currently averaging almost six points a game. Six on the shot clock. Over Plumley. The shot's good from Nance. Nance has got the lead up to three now for the Pelicans. And Ingram and his court awareness continue to grow. A terrific dime there. Plumley with a screen on McCollum. Pass to Leonard. The Clippers need to get off a shot. Carries it from three point range. Harden's got it all tied up now for the Clippers. And as long as Harden's in the building, he has the confidence he can make it. Nance a screen on George. And there's the foul. It'll go on Terrence Mann. That's his first foul. And the Clippers making a switch here. Westbrook's checked in. And the Pelicans also making a change. Jonas Valanciunas, he's checked in for Nance. Williamson finds Ingram. Allen is with the ball. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. The Clippers shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. And they've shot the ball well this season in, in, in terms of their attempts. 81%. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. So after making the first, he goes one for two. And so it's Williamson who brings up the ball for the Pelicans. They trail by one. McCollum against Westbrook. Valanciunas dishes to Ingram. Just five to shoot. That one's in his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Harden scanning the floor. Passes it to Leonard. To the middle, Plumley, and there's the call by the official. They'll count the basket here following the goaltending call. Just barely too late and, and catches it on the way down. He's already in the air there, committed, so can't fault him for going for the block. No good. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. Clippers lead by one. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Hey, Kevin, thanks. Hey, James, we know that scoring seems to come easy for you. How do you create that mentality out there? I just like to have fun. You know, it's all for the kids. It's all for the fans. You know, I think that's what we're here for. And so, um, you know, guys, just go out there and compete, have fun, and just play hard. My family doesn't think it's all for the kids, but I appreciate your sentiment. Back to you, Kevin. <laughs> All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. Hello and welcome. Let's get right into it. The story tonight is a tight matchup for the Clippers after two quarters. 
Man, their fans are loving this one. As a player, man, you can feed off that positive crowd. It can help you build momentum, you know. It just gets your blood flowing, and it's right tonight. We'll see if they can carry that energy into the second half, both the fans and the team. And now that we're a ways into the season, here's how the standings look out west. You look at Los Angeles, they've underperformed thus far, but they're still tremendous. Now comes the hard part. They've got to tinker with the team until they find that championship recipe. And that is a wrap. Now let's send you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. C.J. McCollum really making a difference here. Really impressed with the shot selection through the first half, just taking what he can get from the defense. Yeah, I'm thinking back to the first half and wondering, did he take a low percentage shot? Everything efficient. And we've got second-half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Tipping off the second half, here's Willie Green's five. Sharing the wing spots, it's Jones and Ingram. Underneath, in the post, it's Williamson and Valanciunas. And it's McCollum in at the one spot. Plumley with the rebound. I know it's about defending the post and the three-point line these days, but still got to be active in the mid-range area, and the defense gets away with one there. Now let's take a look at some of the numbers for Terrence Mann. And, guys, I think the best way to measure his performance these last 10 games is his effective field goal percentage, which has improved a sign that his game is in much better shape than it was not too long ago. Now here's McCollum. He has six. The pass to Valanciunas. Dishes to Williamson. Banked in off the glass. Williamson's got the first bucket of the third here for the Pelicans. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you're big or small. You do not want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Zion on the inside. Count it. And the Clippers lead by one. A great competitive game so far. And from the look of it, this one could go right down to the wire. And there's the foul. It'll go on Terrence Mann. That'll be his second foul of the game. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. Yeah, quick thinking pays off big. What a block. Harden against McCollum. Ingram outside. Five on the clock. Over George. Because of Paul George's athleticism, he can do a lot of things. He turns guys over. He blocks shots. He's got great hands. He affects a lot defensively. Here's Williamson. He gets that one. Williamson's got four points this quarter. Showing the quickness right there. Just tough to keep up with it. And when Zion Williamson Brent is on the floor, he's one of the best players in the NBA. Yeah, Kevin, but we got to keep him on the floor. That's the way that not only Zion's going to improve, but this is the way this team has a pathway to the playoffs. Leonard, no luck. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Clippers have their sights set high. Coach Teron Lou says this is definitely a championship team, and it's not going to just come. We've got to put the work in. There's got to be a lot of sacrifices. If we come together and do the right things, we definitely have a chance. Kevin, back to you. And David, he's a big reason why. Thanks so much. Now the inside part of Kawhi's game just so hard to stop. He's too physical and seems to be just locked in at times. It's McCollum on the wing, guarded by Harden. Valanciunas, Lumley with some nice D. And that was almost a block. Still did enough to alter the shot. Yeah, altering the shot just as long as there's a miss. That kind of energy not wasted. 
And every time you think one team's got something going, the other seems to respond. Here's McCollum. Paul George making his last shot. Screened by Valanciunas. Shot from 12. Gets it to drop, and now he's shooting at a 5-for-8 clip. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. And there's a foul. It's on C.J. McCollum. That is his first foul of the game. I, I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Russell Westbrook's checked in for the Clippers. And a change for the Pelicans. Hawkins is checked in. Thirty two seconds left in the third. George finds Leonard plays it up and banks it in. And that's now nine points for Leonard. Yeah, what a nice attribute to have with your wing player being able to operate and control the offense. That's what PG can do. Seventeen seconds left to play in the third. Now here's Ingram. And we know he can score. He's averaging around 21 and a half points a game. Just so hard defensively to stay after McCollum. He can be elusive, and then he can score from anywhere. George from deep three-point land. Three quarters of play in a close game here. Pelicans ahead. They're up by two. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling right here on 2K Sports. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feed. The coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of feel, nice play collaborating, improvising, and organic. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. So with Leonard on the bench, here's who Teron Lewis going with. Out on the wings for him, Powell and George. E.J. Tucker is out there with Daniel Tice. And it's Westbrook in at the point. And that one's good, Ingram. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Tice passes to Powell. Westbrook kicks to George. Six to shoot. In the corner, Powell with it. With the drive. The rebound by Brandon Ingram. New Orleans leading by four. Pass to Daniel. 60 seconds off the clock here in the fourth. Nance, no good. Clippers shooting so far, very efficient. All around, about 55%. Tice in the high post. Westbrook finds George. And the foul on Larry Nance Jr. That is his first foul of the game. Los Angeles calls timeout.
Big group substitution here for the Clippers. Mason Plumley's checked in for Daniel Tice. Leonard comes in for P.J. Tucker. Mann's checked in for Norman Powell. And it's James Harden in for Russell Westbrook. The Pelicans also changing it up. Jonas Valanciunas, he's checked in for Nance. Williamson comes in for Trey Murphy. And McCollum subbed in for Daniels. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Well, guys, over the break, I was able to listen to Tehran Lou's huddle. And he begged his guys to get after it on the break. He said, let's keep up the tempo, guys. You know how dangerous we are on the break. Be confident with the ball. Take risks. Move it, <laughs> guys. Thanks so much, David. And this is the effort you want to see out of your guys, win or lose. A great example out here of just a, a no-quit team continuing to compete until the final buzzer. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Pelicans. I like this throwback approach they're taking, looking to score high percentage shots in the paint. And so far, it's working. And the other thing about their game tonight that they've done a terrific job of is just moving the basketball around. That's how you rack up assists. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. McCollum against Harden. McCollum no good. And so it's Harden bringing it up for Los Angeles. It's a one point game. Pass to George. Some solid defense from Ingram. For New Orleans they've gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Passes it to Valanciunas. Valanciunas with a screen on Plumley. Back to Valanciunas. That's good, and it's Ingram with the assist. Ingram's got assist number five here tonight. Big bucket from the big man as Valanciunas knocks it in. Plumley with a screen on McCollum. A pass to George. Down through the hoop it goes. That's his fifth make on nine shots from the floor. Go ahead and lead him, Paul George. Stepping up a huge shot at this moment in the game. George against Ingram. Just five on the clock. Kept alive. The Clippers trail. Harden outside. Plumlee sets the pick for Harden. Pass to George. To take the lead. The bucket is good. He'll have a chance for one more. It's on Jonas Valanciunas. Getting physical out there, but George giving it 100% focus. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Clippers. They've shown no let up. Penetration, knife it inside. The defense has to tighten it up if they want to slow this team down. And I feel like there's been an old school aspect to what they've done tonight, and that is pounding the ball inside, getting it down low, getting those looks in close. And that's been effective. And how big was that? He is just so reliable, so confident at the free throw. And here's McCollum for three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. The three from Harden. Zion Williamson grabs the miss. McCollum outside. Back to Williamson. Ingram. And again, no good by New Orleans. Well, that's the only way to take him out of his comfort zone from that range. Get right up in the jersey, force him off the spot. Remember that one. Guys, a difference maker. I'm wondering, is that the biggest shot of the game? Now a timeout called by New Orleans. They're behind by four. 27 seconds left in the game.
27 seconds left in the fourth quarter. McCollum kicks to Jones. 16 seconds left in the fourth. Ingram passes to McCollum. It falls! And that shot brings them to within just one. And McCollum's pace hasn't changed even under pressure. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Yeah, you know what? Smart foul. You got to try and extend the game. And the first of two, no good. Heartbreaker. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. Now Ingram. Oh, that shot had a chance, but no good. So it's the Clippers taking the win in a close one. What a show they put out here at home tonight. I mean, these are those games that feel so great to win, and, and really, it's like a knife in the gut to lose. Uh, you you got to love being on edge of your seat and just wondering what's going to happen. How is this thing going to play out? And we've got David Aldridge standing by on our sideline with the player of the game. David, it's all yours. Thanks very much. BG, congratulations coming into the game. What was the focal point? Defense. I mean, we still allow too many points. Um, we got to get better on defense. That was the emphasis coming into today. Defense. Uh, it's an area we got to improve. Uh, but tonight, our offense got us over the hump. Any way you get the dub is the good way. So congrats on the win. Back to you. Thanks so much, David. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. And now, we present the New Balance Player of the Game, Paul George.